shit, I gotta lose some weight. Is that the first name up here by chance? I don't know where it is. I've been looking for it. Sup? Sup? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, this this is my favorite game to watch, this dude. Alright, oh, yeah, dude. The inside of your right hand hurts to the outside of your left. Yes, <laughs> Go! Go. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> practice time! Let's go! Inside the practice. So I quit. No, I quit. I quit. <laughs> you win. Hell, that's the dumbest game I ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. oh my god. It's numb. It's, yeah. it's so numb right now. Wait till you see it in oh. about a, 10 or 15 minutes. Dude, it's so It's going to be shiny. It literally is numb. Jeez, bro. And then when I hit him, it was just bad. Look at it. I was like, oh, I don't want to hit him no more. <laughs> Good work. Good time, wonderful. Wow, beautiful with your legs. Uh, today's Monday. Uh, we're two weeks out from the fight. Uh, 12 days uh, till we're gonna be in there. And uh, it was a fun workout today. It wasn't too hard. It was like a lot of technical stuff. Uh, we started off with a hard push with the Aerodyne, but really that's, that's the, the hardness to it. Uh, it was a little bit longer than our normal workouts, but again, a lot of technique, uh, pretty much a fun day. Tomorrow's his last day of sparring, so I wanted him to be sharp for the last day of sparring. And uh, then Wednesday we head out to Utah, so we're all getting really excited. And uh, man, it's, it's just crazy how fast it's getting here. And one strong jab. Good position. Good jab. Yeah. It doesn't have to be 100%. I just want strong on contact. Your feet are in contact with your punch. It's more just getting the timing down to your hips and your feet. That's wonderful. A little loopy with that right hand. I want hips. Hips and feet. Good technique. Wonderful. Look at your rebase again. Yeah, it did. Technique. So around this time frame, two weeks out, I, I you know, the nerves come, come and go. Uh, I think it's just because there's a, lot, there's a lot on the line on this fight, so that always picks up the nerves a, a touch, but it's nothing no different. Uh, you know, sometimes the day are, are worse than the others. Uh, sometimes it's just all confidence and having fun, so uh, I think next, next week I'll start to feel a little bit more of the nerves, but uh, they're definitely coming on a little bit, and I'm excited. I mean, no injuries. We're in perfect health. We got one more sparring session to stay healthy in, and... Uh, and then we're off and running, so I'm excited to get out there. It's going to be a great time, and man, I cannot wait to see Justin perform. Good, Justin. Again, that was a nice setup. That's beautiful. That's good. That's good. You got a short time. That's good. And time. Wonderful. Pop up, let's get your gloves off.
Yeah, so Mondays we do our heavy lifting. Uh, Wednesdays is more of our conditioning type work. And so the three versus five rounds, I don't put too much into that. I know that he's going to modify his sparring to kind of mimic that. And, and, and Trevor's going to take care of all, all that side of things. So we just want to make sure his energy systems are, are just efficient as an athlete. So today, our last one, um, just kind of touching a lot of those same movements that we've been doing all camp. He's really efficient at them, works through them really well. So we feel safe, comfortable doing all those things this close to the fight. Just kind of touching those last strength, speed qualities that, that uh, we know that we can lose within a couple weeks. Yeah, you know, there's not many athletes I work with that are like Justin. You know, Justin is, uh, he is a, the, the wild man, just like he fights, you know. His fighting style is who he is. He, he definitely expresses himself very well in the cage. And he's willing to do anything. He's going to do things a little bit unconventional. I don't have anybody else that box flip or, or uh, back flips off the box jump. That's, a, that's the only guy I have that does that, but that's him, you know? I don't want to take away the things that make him great. These are the things that make him who he is and, and as, successful, as successful as he's been, those are the things that have gotten him there. We're not going to change that at all. I still want him to be Justin Gaethje every day of the week uh, and, and every hour that he's in here too. Hey, dude, he's fired up. <laughs> hey! What are you Love doing? You again, oh, oh, yeah. Look at the hamper. Yeah. Fingers, dude. Oh, look at that footwork, Luke. What are you talking about? Look at that footwork. Look at that footwork. Oh, really? Come on. So today is uh, Tuesday, uh, we had sparring today and uh, it's our last day of sparring so he, man, he looks so sharp. He's dialed in, and, uh, <clears throat> it's great when you see him this serious, like it's, uh, he almost looks upset after sparring, after such a great day of sparring so I know once he gets home and watches it, he's going to love what he sees but uh, you know you get in that competitive mindset and he, you can just tell he's just so serious, he's so, uh, uh, he has so much intention to, to perform but Man, I thought he looked great. His uh, grappling, we finished with uh, 10 minutes of grappling after sparring, that looked great. Like just his awareness for his grappling right now, you can tell he's been so consistent with it. And uh, that's our last workout here in Colorado. Now we're heading out to, uh, to Utah tomorrow. So we're gonna meet at the airport 11 o'clock and we're gonna change environments. So we just got to uh, Utah today and uh, it was a nice flight, checked into the house. House is beautiful. I mean, man, what a great place to stay and we're out here early. Uh, we're here at Sons of uh, Atlas Wrestling Club and pri private, like we got it to ourselves. There's, there's nothing better. And right now it's, 
We started at about 7.30 tonight. We're slowly gonna start getting closer to the fight on the times that we train, but today was, uh, was just a mediocre workout. You know, after you fly, it's, it's more about just getting our body moving a little bit and then, uh, you know, playing with the mind a little bit, uh, you know, technical footwork, uh, making sure we're staying engaged late at night because we're used to training during the daytime. So it was a great workout. It was easy to get a sweat in here. It's nice and warm. I love wrestling rooms. And uh, now it's time to go eat and get some rest and uh, get ready for tomorrow's workout. Tomorrow's workout, uh, Friday and Saturday, get harder each day. Saturday will be the hardest uh, workout of this week. Dive in hard. Your L step is almost just exactly to the right. Good. It's almost like you're attacking your L step. Thank you. Go. Yep. Good. It's wonderful. Good. That's beautiful. Good. Good. Hey, you are done. Good work. Play that fade. I remember that All from day, last baby. year, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot. Just looking down the middle. Good shot. You should Nope. Perfect. Oof. Hey. Good ball, bro. That dog did pretty good. Hey. Perfect. Okay, big dog. Hey. Who needs a breakfast? Stay mm -hmm. in play. Downhill, right to left. Not that slow. Go. Oh, oh, what's going on? Whoa. That's tracking. Fade, fade. That's tracking. <gasps> oh. oh. I don't know about these yardage, bro. Don't worry. Sit down. That's good. Sit, sauce. Holy shit. Go. Oh, come on. Go. Come on. Oh, you oh, freaking guy. Whoa. Get in. Oh, oh I thought that was going to dunk in. Go. Hell to the okay. yeah. Okay, okay. Jay. Okay. He wants oh, all that smoke. Shit. Middle of the fairway, big dog. That's all I got. Good putt. Good putt, oh, Jay. You guys can stick around. Play all day. I gotta go. I gotta go to the airport. I gotta go to a meeting downtown. Jay Chief. Let's yes, get it. Let's get a picture dog. here, and I gotta get one on my phone. <laughs> Ah, let's go. One minute. One minute. One minute, yeah, right. Three. You can do it. I'll believe in you. I'll talk you through it. Good job, Luke. Nice. That would be so good for your hand when you close it up to the glass. It never gets easier. It never gets easier. It never no, gets fucking easier. It's always the same. It's always the same. But the way you feel afterwards is just fucking best. Oh, shit. I'm awake now. Okay, stick up.
Kowalskie. Teraz pan być. Yeah, man. I mean, this is, uh, I just drove in today, drove seven and a half hours, dropped my wife and kids off for a family vacation, headed to Washington, and and uh, here I am in Salt Lake. So uh, always, always amazing to get back with the team. Um, you know, fight week is, is always special. It's uh, has a different feel to it, obviously, you know, so it's kind of nice to come out a little bit early and, and uh, get settled in, have a chance to, you know, kind of enjoy the area before before the real stuff happens, you know, the media and, you know, all the excitement and the pressure and the butterflies and all that, you know, so looking forward to the next few days relaxing. Um, yeah, but uh, nothing like getting out of the car for seven and a half hours and coming right in and, and getting after it, you know, so um, I'm lucky that I can still uh, still move with Justin, still get to get in there with him today. We just, you know, Trevor wanted it pretty hard. Um, we got a few few days here left of, of training camp, last hard push, and uh, today we wrestled six uh, six three minute goes after about 25 minutes of you know good drilling. So um, I think it was a, a great push. Justin felt good and uh, you know, ready for the next couple days. Time. You know, better than me than anybody else, I guess.
regarding the fight, you know, it's a fight's a fight, but this one, for I guess for the fans, is like a special one. Yeah, no, this is a special one for me. You know, I'm a competitor, so anytime I get a chance to get a loss back, it's super huge. You know, it's been, um, you know, aiding in the in the process of getting ready. You know, pu pumping myself up and really just focusing on the fact that you know I've lost to this guy before and I can't uh, I can't go on to. You know, not being the competitor I am, I'm not going to be okay with that. So I'm going to give it my all like I always do, uh, max effort, and, you know, try to be perfect. Are you excited about it in that way? Like, it's not maybe fight of the year, like they're going to go in there and beat each other up, but like two great fighters in a rematch. I mean, from a fan's perspective, me being a fan, yes, I think this is one of the most exciting fights. And me putting myself in those shoes, yes. Uh, from a coach's standpoint, like Justin has wanted this fight for a long period of time. I am here for a job, and Dustin is the best in the world outside of the champion right now. And that's what I'm looking for as a coach, is I'm following his purpose, and uh, I'm here to do a job. And we're facing the best in the world right now. That's, uh, that's our next step to get to the real title. This is for the belt, too. So... That gets us to the real belt, and that's what I'm focused on. I, the excitement's there to see him perform. I always get excited to see him perform, but when I get into that aspect of it, that's that's where you start to get distracted, and I will not allow myself to get distracted. Yep, good, Justin. Keep it, baby. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. That time. Wonderful job. One more go, bro. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, relax. Wonderful. That's two down. Eight to go. Yep. Five down. Good. Wonderful. One. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. One more. Four, three, two, one. Go. Wonderful job. 30 seconds off, we got five minutes of rope and you are done. another incline. It's a little tougher than our run. A little tougher. This was like a down week. No, this, is, this is your hard day. Your workout tonight, it's Dude, not as much as last night. I don't know what I'm signing up for here, Terrence. But I'm gonna sign up. I'm gonna do it. In the old school Air Max 90s. Justin's gonna see these things blaze by him, and now you know this is happening. Come around a little bit. I don't need the money. I'm just gonna need a ride. So we're out here in Salt Lake, and we're way out here in the foothills. Uh, we found a, ran, a run. We went and scouted a couple spots today, and found a really nice incline uh, for two miles. So I got Justin out here running, and. Uh, Ben wanted to jump in with him, and Luke decided to jump in. He's got Crocs on. Luke's freaking crazy. Luke's already been in the sauna for him and Ben were in the sauna today, but Ben loves the sauna. Luke doesn't, and Luke's crazy. He's out there in Crocs running with Justin. But uh, it's Saturday. Uh, today's a really tough day. Uh, yesterday and today were the the tough days of the week. We're peaking him uh, one week out. Uh, so trying to mimic uh, the feeling of the legs uh, of the fight. And uh, man, it's gonna be a tough run. We're gonna go two miles. I'm timing it, but I don't care what the time is. This one's a little bit steeper than our Red Rocks run. Uh, I would say probably starting about close to a thousand feet under what we usually run, but uh, it's gonna be tough just because of the incline. So looking forward to that. Then he's gonna do hyperbaric chamber. 
uh, here in about two hours, and then we're training a touch earlier tonight because he's golfing tomorrow, and I want him to get full rest tonight. So we'll be doing like a seven o'clock workout compared to a a uh, nine o'clock workout like we've been doing. Either. What? I didn't run. <coughs> I didn't run that one. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen fifty-five. Good job. That was hard. A lot of incline. A lot of incline. Here comes Ben. He's finishing with cross country. Good Ooh. shit, dude. Ooh, 20, cramps. right on 20. Exactly, still 20 deep, minutes. Two miles, 2.1 miles. Good yeah, shit. Brutal. I said you could wear them. Dude, he brought them for you. Are you going to talk stuff? Yeah, I would have ran the same amount. Same as, I almost would prefer oh, chasing perfect. my kids around. Uh, discipline in them than what I went through today. Why would you want to do that? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you keep bitching about the cop. Dude, the you keep on bringing about. up old shit. It's not even an issue anymore. Oh, you let I it go? I just know I'm not allowed coffee. Me and Ben go to Starbucks. That's it. I mean, I'll go to the gas station get 7-Eleven coffee before I touch Just Gaethje's coffee. Starbucks was disappointing today. Dude, we went and got oh, Luke coffee today, and he's afraid to drink it because he's like, he doesn't want Justin to, to mistake it for his coffee. Is that what you're trying to say? I bought it for Luke. Should I put it? I didn't know. I didn't know. I, shit, I just know coffee's off limits there. No one even knows what you're talking about. No, <laughs> Joe. You were living in you, you, you specifically said, Pacific. not drink this. Not drink this coffee. Specifically, you need to take less estrogen. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Dude, Boom. Oh, yeah. Luke's been talking a lot of stuff. He's been talking a lot of stuff. Yeah. Especially when, it's, look at this. when we're not in training, he's talking a lot of stuff. So I gave Justin, he put him down with a body shot, 60 bucks. If he submits him, 60 bucks. And if he puts him down with a low kick, 40 bucks. Ah, that was but I only do a 40 for the low kick because I feel bad because that hurts. That don't hurt for a couple days. Oh, oh, that was that was that was the one. Uh, so today is Saturday. We're one week from the fight. Uh, we started off with a very hard run today. Uh, that was a really hard run. That was uh, uh, 2.1 miles. We've usually been running about 1.8, and uh, this was a lot steeper. We are 1,000 feet lower in altitude, so I do believe that's about the height of our hill was a little lower than what we've run back home, but it was hard because of the incline. Then after that, he came back and came straight over here for the hyperbaric chamber. Uh, Crown BJJ has just been great to us, uh, allowing us to use all their stuff. So he came over late in that for two hours. Came home, got a little bit of rest, and uh, then we came and got our last hard workout before the fight. So, man, he, he, he pushed so hard. It was a little shorter because we fried his legs today, but th this workout was built uh, for his legs. Uh, a lot of line drills, a lot of pushing the legs, and uh, man, it was a struggle for him. We finished with Aerodyne and high heart rate and meant to kill his legs like again the, the fight when you just just uh when your legs don't go in a fight that's number one and uh, man i'm proud of him you could tell he was he was struggling through this one i was just happy to push him through and man he's training so hard and he's just he's just so damn coachable man as a coach i'm so proud all the hard work is done now it's the fun workouts now we just get to turn it on and turn it off get that engine going so we're here uh, injury free now i can feel i can sleep good 
knowing we're not going in with injuries. So that's such a safe feeling. So now I know there's no excuses. There's no, damn, I pulled it back because of this. It's balls to the wall now. Now I guess they hit that gas pedal uh, next Saturday night. Perfect pace. Yep. Yep. Keep it, keep it. Keep it. Five seconds. Bam! Long speed. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Yep. Let's get up again. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Head time. A wonderful job. Wonderful job. See the towel? I don't, I don't want that pat.